Welcome to the CrossFit Open 17.4 workout. I'm here with Lee Lunderstein and I'm Jean Jerkenheimer. Hi, We're Jean. at CrossFit FOS in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And today's sponsor is Donut. Donut Powdered Fitness. You get a gene that's pretty clever. Mmm, my kind of workout. Now the internet has been a stir all week long. Dave Castro, director of the CrossFit Games, posts these unique little hints about each of the workouts, and frankly, they're a little mystifying. We can't even show this one right now. That not family not friendly. Not family friendly. And even people across the galaxy are weighing in on what they think about Dave Castro. Dave Castro, put down the barbell and fight me with your lightsaber. I mean, I don't know about you, but those sound like fighting words to me. For sure. The Dark Lord versus Dave Castro, who's a Dark Lord in himself. <laughs> And this week, the uh, rep scheme is a whole lot easier to understand. Thank God. Sets of 55, deadlifts, wall balls, calorie row, hand release push-ups in this case because we're watching some scaled action. Sammy Hagar would like this one. Can't drive 55. All right, our three beasts of survival. Number one, break out your sets up early. We want to make sure that you're breathing often. We want to reiterate that so much that we're going to say that our third B is make sure you do the first two Bs. And last but not least, fever, fever, avoid it. Don't do it. What do you think about that, Gene? You like you like I Justin, don't, don't you? I don't care for him too much. Thank God. <laughs> All right. I've heard that Jeff and Cindy are really taking the training seriously, and they've hired some external coaches. Jeff's been working with Sam Dancer, the master of the deadlift. And Cindy's been working out with Dan Bailey because, as she put it, and I quote, he has dreamy blue eyes. Is that true, Gene? Uh, sure. Uh-huh. Well... Well, let's get back into the action, and let's take you on the floor to yours truly, Lee and Jean. I see Cindy already wants to uh, redecorate the place and put some drapes up behind her. That's <laughs> lovely. All right, I think the time's... Oh, a little fist bump. Nice, time nice. To start. He here. is a chivalrous one, isn't he? He sure is. All right. Here we go. So if you take a look at our time clock up here in the upper left, we're going to mimic the Mexico City announcement of the CrossFit 17.4 workout. We're going to go repless ourselves. Daring, aren't we? Wow. Very. <laughs> so, yeah, we aren't going to have a clue how close each one's getting, but we'll just have to feel it through. Okay, so Jeff has taken a break. And, Cindy, uh, Cindy's going a little bit longer. Now, Gene, what are these things wrapped around? Uh, is that like a tummy tuck device? Is that one of those oh, wrapped No, things? they're just weight belts. Weight um, belts. Yeah. Okay. Are they legal? Because right they now we see, totally legal. we see Tori, uh, one of the judges, and he's not wearing one. Is he lifting? No, that's true. He's not even wearing shoes. <laughs> that's not even fair. No shoes, no shirt. No CrossFit, buddy. That's what I got to say about that. <laughs> All right, these deadlifts are looking pretty good. I talked to Jeff just prior to this workout, and he was hoping to do all of his deadlifts inside of three minutes to mimic Rory McKernan uh, during 16.4 against um, Boz. Well, I got, a feeling, I got a feeling he's going to get that done. Once again, we apologize, our cameramen. We do have two cameramen this week, not just one. But apparently... One of our uh, cameramen is not able to get the angle of their camera down far enough to see Cindy. So we're going to see a lot of this uh, booty cam. And i got to be honest, I kind of like that view myself. <laughs> I'm just saying. The uh, wall balls are going to be pretty hard to see, though. That's true. We'll, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, Jeff is picking up the pace. Wow, he I is. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if it's a good idea either, but... Um, Maybe uh, he, knows, those he knows best. Glow sticks sticking out of his shorts. He's trying to hurry up and get out of here quickly. Cindy has got a good pace. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> Just like kids in a bunk bed. Up and down, up and down. All right. Jeff is banging his, banging his bar in. Oh, man. And, uh, I bet that's noisy. Trainer Luke is coming over, making sure that no funny stuff is going on. He's headed back on, and Jeff oh my. is on to his wall balls in less than two, two and a half and minutes. Half. I think that might haunt him. Hmm. I'm not real sure. Now, the wall balls for both Jeff and Cindy are at the nine-foot level as opposed to the RX division, which is 10 feet. So 
He just has to get his wall ball. Oh, there's a no rep by his same judge from last week, Matt. I wonder if there's anything going on there. Not sure. And Cindy's done with her deadlifts, and she's going on to the wall ball now, just playing hacky sack. Uh, that's not going to work uh, with oh, these wall balls. Oh, we've got a judge in the way. What's oh, going on? No, not again. I, I think she'll move. Okay. Uh, Jeff so. is starting a, maybe his 10th wall ball. Maybe. And Cindy's shadow's doing great. Now, the wall ball form, you need to get your booty down. You need to have it below the Parallel. hip level. And I think, uh-oh, uh-oh, he's taking his belt off. Either he's going to whip somebody's butt or he's mean in business. And now Cindy has done the same thing. She has. I'm getting scared. I'm not. <laughs> her reaction from when I was a kid. By the way, Jean, did you know where the, the term wall ball came from? I really don't. These are manufactured in China, right next to the Great Wall of China. And so when they were looking for a name, they thought, well, ping pong is taken, so let's call it the Great Wall Ball. And they took off great when they started becoming manufactured in the U.S., and thus you have wall ball. There you go. This is what we call a chipper. Yes. Because and you have plenty of time while you're spectating to eat a bag of potato chips. <laughs> there you go. Where's hand the... that dip to me, will ya? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is a chipper, not a dipper. Uh, I dip. do both. Cindy is, I, I like the uh, form I'm seeing from Cindy. She's looking pretty good. And I got to say, those uh, those tights she has on, can we, uh, can we uh -oh. elaborate Where'd she on go? those? Where'd she go? Uh -oh. And she's, I... where'd she go? Disappeared. She like went home she... or? There we up. go. There we go. All right. Yeah, Cindy is showing quite a bit of side thigh in those tights this week. Is that legal? Are we going to get booted off the uh, air? Just always pushing the limits. FCC. Oh, and she she is wearing that, that knee uh, sleeve look from last week. Jeff opted not to, but he is wearing the uh, the, the thigh tights or the... Uh, the white tights? The, the flesh tights are in the white tights. Are those tights. flesh color? I think those are white. They're flesh colored if you're Canadian, I think. There you go. Okay, and uh, ooh, you can tell that this workout is really taking its toll, especially on Jeff, who did his deadlifts way too quick. And I, I think the row is where he, he could redeem himself. He could. Because but... he's had a rower at his home for almost four years. He has, and I, I believe I, he rows every Christmas on it. Yeah. Doesn't get a lot of use is what I hear. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to talk to Jeff after the workout and try to step that up a little bit. Do you think Cindy uses it that much? Cause Apparently not. I don't think so. <laughs> I do not think so. I don't think so either. I should talk to, to Sam and Dan. Maybe they could uh, help him out. All right. Jeff is throwing his hands up in frustration. His hands are on his knees. That's never a good sign. If I've seen this athlete perform once, I've seen him perform a thousand times. Hands on the knees, not good. We're hoping that next week, Jeff is going to wear some booty shorts. <laughs> Those would look great. I don't know about Cindy's that. Cindy's got jiggle going on, but I think <laughs> Jeff, jiggle. if he had booty shorts, we might see a little jiggle too. All right, so Jeff is desperate to take a break, so he's now sitting on the rower. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going for calories. is not a break. Huffing and puffing. And, and now it looks like the judges are saying, we better read the instructions before we learn how to use this piece of equipment. And uh, Jeff is anxious to get going. Cindy's got two judges. Two judges. And she almost moved us there. I'm glad those are flexible tights. Some people could not pull that off without ripping their pants. Here she goes, and she is, she's a huffing and a puffing. Now, we, we will admit, folks, that at this point in time, a 55 calorie row is right up there with watching a full game of golf on TV. It For is sure. not a lot of fun. Oh, we have a lot of green. We do have some activity in the background that we could pay attention to. What? Somebody's got some nervous, some nerves going on. They just went into the okay. bathroom. Speed and strength right next to the bathroom. <laughs> What's that tell you? A strong smell? Speed power. Power streak right next to the bathroom. Power, wow. Wow, that can be bad. It's a good, that's we'll see why, how speedy he is. That's why the fan's on. <laughs> but the power and <laughs> Look strength, Look at that fan scary. up above next to the timer, folks. Speed, power, and strength. 
That's why those are going so quickly. But we digress. Let's get back to the athletes on the floor here. Yep, pretty much the same as last time we saw them. <laughs> and Luke is, uh, Luke Smith is coming over. I like Luke's fashion sense, wearing all words on the right side of his body. It's a good look. Yeah. I like that. The high elite shorts are kind of in. Yeah, and that rogue t-shirt, I believe Jeff has the same one. Oh, is that the Froning one? It is, it is. Okay. Modeled after Rich's, Rich Froning's tattoo, tattoo. Mm -hmm. which I believe Jeff has a similar something or other tattoo on his right side too. All right, uh, let's hit the uh, fast forward button on, uh, on this particular workout and let's join them when they get to their wall balls. Wall balls? They already did wall balls. Oh, uh, let's join them when they get to their, their hand release, hand release push-ups. This portion of the episode is sponsored by Oakley Sunglasses. Look at the light coming in the window there, Gene. It is so that. bright right now for the athletes as well as the judge. We can barely make out Matt, only his shadow. It is bright in there. And Jeff has started his hand of these push-ups, and after just five, he is panting like a greyhound dog. And Cindy's still rolling. This could be a good move on Cindy's part. She's pacing herself well. I think that Jeff maybe took out a little too quickly, and he's put in three, now four more hand release push-ups. That's his fourth. Okay, so we're up to number nine, and Cindy is... God, she's got to be pretty close to being done in the road, don't you think? I would hope so. At least we get to enjoy that back definition. Those muscles are popping. Was that one? I don't know, Gene, was it? I think it was. Okay. Just one, perhaps. And there's another one. He is down to singles. Singles, this, wow. This is hurting. The cardio is kicking in. It's not only the elevation, but I think the extreme heat that's coming in through the windows at CrossFit Foes that are just this having their way. 1,470 feet above sea level. And, and here, comes, here comes Cindy here. That's her second push-up. And Jeff is up to what? 15. And Cindy just did her fifth. This is going to be interesting. Six, seven, eight push-ups by Jean. I mean by Cindy. Eight push-ups by Cindy. Now I think we're up to ten. What are we up to? on, Jeff? Seventeen. I think Cindy's got 18. eleven. Now twelve. She is not breaking. Now thirteen with thirty seconds left. Nineteen. Fourteen. Fifteen for, for Cindy. Sixteen. 17. 21. 18. This is going to come down to the wire, folks. 19 22. for Cindy. 20. 23. 21. And Cindy 24. gives. She gives at 21. And Jeff wins by three. And Jeff dies Woo! at 24. That was a close one. And Jeff rolls over like a beat up puppy. All right. What a close match. Post game workout and highlights coming up next.
crap is giving me a headache. Choose to be happy.